and welcome back to my channel. As you can see today I have a guest on my channel, Maggie. I have Hi. mentioned her in many <laughs> videos and finally we made a, a video together. And we thought we're gonna show you around Munich and answer some of your most common questions. Yeah, since we are both foreigners living in Munich, I thought this would be a good perspective. Yeah. <laughs> I have been now here for three years and for me it's almost 13. So I think we both have something to share. <laughs> By the way, we are in Stampus. It's in the city center of Munich and it's one of the most common places to meet. So the first question, I'm not going to have it in any particular order, but the first one is, is everyone actually punctual and accurate in Germany? Because I think it's a very yeah. typical stereotype, but is it actually true? It is, depends, it depends. So usually like all the appointments, like doctor's appointments, official appointments, etc. You better be early actually, because if you're like two minutes late, that's it, your time is gone. Yeah, or and, even yeah. if you're on time, you're yeah. already late. Like restaurants and friends, tolerable, I would say 15 minutes, so not like in Spain two hours later, no. <laughs> yeah. But the public transport is not actual, yeah, punctual at really all. Care. <laughs> Which for me was surprising. But in general, yeah, punctuality is still a thing in Germany. And as well, you have to plan things very much in a ahead. Yeah. Even if you're meeting with friends, you better look at your calendar one or two, three weeks ahead. Yeah, sometimes even months. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next question. Uh, most difficult part of moving to Germany? Most difficult probably uh, the cultural aspect, like changing location of course, but also getting used to new language, new food, new places. Yeah, I would say for me as well, the language was the, probably the most difficult. Yeah. When I moved, I didn't know a single word. Getting to know people. I think Germans yeah. take time to warm up to you yeah. and they already have like their own groups. Yeah. So yeah, if you come that. as a foreigner, it's really hard to blend in. Yeah. Either you find your own foreigner friends <laughs> or yeah, you kind of, it takes time. Maybe for me, it was extra unlucky because I came right during COVID. Yeah. Uh, but I found it really hard to find my people and my yeah. my gang, so that to is say. True. <laughs> yeah, well, I came when there was no internet yet or like no social uh, network. So like it was just the beginning of smartphones, the beginning of actual social networks, beginning of Facebook and stuff. So it was really hard to find people in real life. It still is, but yeah, yeah luckily you found each other. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, let's move to a new place. And uh, next questions. All right, we are at the location number two, which is one of the most famous churches in Munich. It's called Frauenkirche. But let's move on to the next question, which is false assumptions about Germans. There's lots of them, I guess. I'll say that maybe one of the assumptions is like that everything works perfectly here because it doesn't. So a lot of people come to Germany thinking that like everything's like clicking here you know you need something you get an appointment you go there you get the thing done immediately but it can actually let's say you need a residence permit and it can take you up to two years to actually receiving your card just because the bureaucracy is well horrible <laughs> i would say also that people think that germany is very modern and oh, yeah. up to date i guess it depends where you come from uh, maybe it is but coming from north northern europe or scandinavia i think <laughs> I felt that I went back in time yeah. a lot, just with basic things as uh, internet, yeah. you know, doing things online, getting appointments again, the bureaucracy, as you said. I felt like it was it's much more complicated and unnecessarily complicated and... It even, takes forever. <laughs> yeah, and even like you cannot pay with card in all oh, the places, yeah. it's still yeah. very much a cash uh, community and... I mean, I, I think it's good, but I also like to have the option of having Card. And even yeah. if you can pay with card, it's often not with a credit card. It's with a EC card, with, which is a German yeah, system. Like local visa equivalent. Yeah, so uh, it's not as modern as people think, I think. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Next question, what do you like the most in Germany? <laughs> That's hard to answer too. Well, I'm definitely grateful for their education system. Although I'm not really a strong believer anymore of these traditional like uh, institutions, but I did go to the uni and it was free for me, and I did get my degree, and yeah, well, I'm happy about that that they didn't have to pay like I don't know 100k for my bachelor's degree, yeah. and uh, yeah, I just got everything for free basically. Also, I could get all the books from the library, etc., and that was pretty easy. 
also like going together with the uni it was really easy to find like a job next to your studies because coming from Lithuania we don't really have this option so like you either work or study there is like no student jobs like part-time jobs it's like all or nothing again maybe I take it for granted because where I'm from it's similar but I guess the, that it's clean that it's safe you know as a girl you can go around at any time of the day and you're pretty much safe at least in Munich I don't know about other cities in Germany but I maybe the stability that you do get a job and you can you know there's a lot of rights to protect you so to say and it's it's quite good to to work yeah yeah it, it's not the worst place to be <laughs> no no for sure not I mean I have a tendency to complain a yeah. lot like I said but we also come from a really privileged yeah, backgrounds yeah. I guess uh, I have a friend that comes from Middle East and uh, for her Germany is like yeah. a dream place yeah. so I do think that maybe we are in some way a bit yeah. spoiled and well not spoiled we just already had this yeah we are used to this yeah. but there's uh, of course a lot of countries a lot of people yeah. that don't have this and for them coming to Germany yeah. is a big or in step general up. probably Europe, Europe even yeah. because in Europe we do have this like the healthcare usually is covered yeah. you have live, like regulated vacation days you have all like other uh, maternity leave etc all these protections you also cannot get fired that easily so we already have this experience from our like past so this wasn't a new thing for us although it is actually a cool thing <laughs> yeah that's true if you think about it especially if you have those friends to yeah. compare the experiences with <laughs> it's yeah i guess we're lucky yeah let's move on to the next place yeah let's go all right next location uh we are near marienplatz we couldn't be directly at it because there is actually some celebrations if you know german traditions that uh, it's flushing time basically like carnival yeah. local people really like the tradition so if you're in or around germany definitely have a look if that's something for yourself but we are gonna move on to next questions why did you move to germany studies simple <laughs> i graduated high school and i moved immediately the next week after my last week of high school and yeah it's been almost 13 years since then i moved because of Zava, the guy you see sometimes <laughs> in my videos uh, yeah we dated uh, long distance for a little bit and uh, Obviously we wanted to move in together at one point and it just turned out that I had a better opportunity to move. I didn't work, I was open to relocate so we decided that I'm gonna come here and kind of see from there and it's been three years. <laughs> I never thought I would be in Germany but here you are. Now I am. Yeah, you never know where life takes you. What do you think about German food? Um, I don't like it. <laughs> There's only one dish that I really like. It's Spätzle. That's it. The only thing I also don't drink beer. The famous German beer. I really, really dislike it very much. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. So I always end up like in Italian or Asian restaurants. Both of us are mostly vegetarians. Yeah. Yeah. So I think for vegetarians it's quite hard to eat German food. It's very meat heavy. Actually, it's quite similar to like Russian yeah, food. Yeah, like Eastern European in general. Yeah. It's very like potato, cabbage, pork, all this kind yeah. of stuff, which I don't like. <laughs> well, potato is nice, that's it. Yeah, at home we cook mostly, I would say, Germanized or yeah, mm -hmm. Eastern European yeah. food, but we of course always do meatless versions for me, so yeah, that, same. from that perspective it's fine, but in the restaurant, yeah, yeah I also always order a spätzle, yeah. <laughs> because there is not so many options otherwise. Yeah, well at least there's always one safe dish yeah. to go for. Alright, enough about food, otherwise we'll be hungry. <laughs> yeah, let's move on. Let's move on. We are at the Bavarian Opera House, and behind us, if you go in that direction, there is also a shopping street with the most uh, exclusive shops like Louis Vuitton, Gucci, etc. Um, they are unfortunately closed today, so we're not gonna buy anything. Yeah, the sadly. only reason. <laughs> exactly. No, so if you're up for some luxury shopping, then this is the place to come. But we're moving on. Tips on finding a job in Germany. Well, you have to have a certain skill set for whatever job you're looking for. If you wanna search for a specific job, of course, like, I don't know, in um, corporate or whatever or like as doctors you, if you're coming from outside of Europe you also need to go through certain procedures to be approved yeah I think Germans still look quite a lot at the qualifications yeah. at the paperwork that you have I feel like if you don't have those papers they can overlook you yeah. quite quickly yeah. sadly because I think a lot of jobs you can really learn on yeah. the spot and there's a lot of qualities that you have as a person that you yeah. cannot show on paper yeah 
uh, but otherwise my tip would be to apply to as many jobs as possible. Yeah, that's it true. might take a while, but you'll eventually be, everyone, end up somewhere, yeah. everyone finds yeah. a place, but it maybe takes a bit longer than somewhere yeah. else. Yeah, yeah. the only thing is that still oftentimes they require German, even if yeah. you don't really need it anymore. How did you learn the language? Or tips on like learning the language as quickly as possible? As quickly? There is no such thing as quickly learning German. <laughs> But yeah, I came here for studying and I have not learned German before. So I had to start with language courses. So I did like traditional uh, half a day course, like four hours a day. And then I had to just um, yeah, continue for a few more months again in the school because I had to pass the exam. But without the exam, of course, you just uh, maybe study the language up to like mid-level, B2 or so, if you know the levels, of course. And then it's enough just living your life. Yeah, my route was actually completely the opposite. I mean, I also didn't know a single word when I moved here, but uh, I wanted to take courses, but they were extremely expensive. And yeah. at the time I didn't have a job, so uh, I couldn't really afford them. So I just tried to listen to like people talking. I tried to talk with them as much as possible. I started watching some series and kind of I know I did a lot of mistakes and I probably sounded really bad. I still do, but you know, like just practicing with people and I always ask them to correct me. The more you talk, the, yeah. the better it gets. I worked at a, a service job as well. I kind of was thrown into jobs where I really had to talk in German. I did have an option. Yeah. Uh, so it, it just helped me. It was tough, but <laughs> it works. Once you are thrown <laughs> into cold water, I think that's, yeah. that's sometimes the only way. Yeah. But I think do think that you maybe should take at least some basic courses yeah, to sure. really know how to structure yeah. the phrases. Yeah, because German is very grammar based, so it's yeah. really hard to feel the language. You need to learn it like math. Stupid question, I don't know, you cannot maybe answer it, but are German men better? Good question. No idea. No, because I have I... my own Lith Lithuanian guy. That's no, it. I know a lot of uh, foreigner girls that yeah. are here for relationships and. I guess I'm one of those people. <laughs> I don't know if they are better. I actually always used to say that I would not date a German guy because the typical stereotypical mindset yeah. is not really my type, but I got lucky that my German guy is a little bit different. Yeah, your German guy is not German enough. <laughs> yeah, exactly, which is why we are together, I think. But I do think they have some good qualities. I mean, they are tall, if you That's like true. that. They are light, like light, blonde, often, yeah, yeah. or like, you know, they can be good looking. I yeah. mean, that's every single country in the world, but if you are into this type of men, then for sure you yep. can find some here. Yeah, they're also just people, so it's like of course, either yeah. it works for you or not. Yeah, but yeah, I think with this we have reached the end of the video. I hope this was interesting for you. It was a little bit different for us as yeah. well, and I'm really happy that we finally <laughs> collaborated and made a video. But make sure to watch our collaboration on Maggie's channel as well. I'll keep all the information down in the description. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>